everyone. C'est José. How are we all doing today? Happy Friday. Um, as always, you know what? You could definitely go to my private Instagram or personal Instagram. Uh, it's not private. <laughs> Nothing about my life is private, um, but my personal Instagram and send me a DM. If there's anything you'd love for me to talk to, um, to you guys about, uh, uh, on a, on a podcast, a Jose podcast. So today I want to talk about progress. Really, I want to talk about your definition of progress. So I'm hoping that this podcast will allow you to reflect on your current definition of progress. Ultimately, what's your definition of success? And even more specifically, what's your definition of success or progress when it comes to your weight loss journey um, or this part of your life? So what kind of made me want to talk about this is because I had a moment where you guys know that I'm like, I'm my own biggest fan. So <laughs> I had a moment when I got back from my vacation that I was like, Josie, you are progressing so much, girl. Like you are just doing so good in terms of your mindset and your language and how you show up. Like I am so proud of you, Josie. And I realized that I feel like I've progressed so much in the past two years of living a better life. Yet I've lost no weight in the past two years. So clearly I don't have, my definition of progress does not include a number. It does not include weight loss. It includes me being happier. It includes me showing up more and more as who I want to be. And it includes way less noise. I, I know that you guys don't know how much I've progressed in the past two years, but I know it because I've been living in my own brain and my own life. But, you know, maybe you're like, oh, this girl is so consistent. She stays the same. She weighs the same because you only see physical Jose. That's what you see on Instagram and whatever you see my physical appearance. That's all you really know about me. Other than if you really listen to everything I say, <laughs> and if you're a member, you know a bit more about me, but you see my physical appearance and you're like, oh, she just stays the same, you know, she just keeps doing the thing. And, but for me, I have progressed so much. I have done and accomplished so much in my personal life in the past two years, um, that I'm so proud of the person that I'm creating and it's not done. It's never done. It's like JLo said when she like picked up her I heart icon award of the year, she said, and let me tell you something. I'm just getting started. Man, I love that girl. Okay, so, I mean, if JLo is just getting started with everything she's accomplished until today, that's something, okay? But I almost, I feel the same when it comes to like my progression and my success and, and how I really work towards being happy and like all of that. The past two years have been an amazing growth for me. And what I want to kind of make sure or the message I want to come across here is that you need to, if you are in a weight loss journey and you are looking at someone that has created weight loss for themselves, keeps it off, seems happy, seems to like their life. Like, because we've often given weight loss a weird definition of it being so, you know, you have to be so deprived and hungry and life sucks, but it's okay. Cause you just do it for a little bit and then it's going to be over. Not how it works. Um, I really do hope that your definition of progress allows you to not be perfect, allows you to be who you are. What I mean by that is if your definition of progress is literally you just being perfect, it's not going to go well. Things are going to fall quickly because you're not going to be perfect. Therefore, you're not going to feel like you're getting progress. Therefore, you're going to feel like a failure and you're going to feel disappointed. And then that usually definitely um, triggers some sort of like spiral that is not going to get you to your goals. I have to say this. So I did a podcast on me being my best friend, right? And I'm my own hype girl. When you are your own hype girl, you see your progress in everything because you're looking for it and you're not talking shit about yourself and you're not only in your mind picking at all the negative things you could be picking on. 
So for example, you know, after we were done the documentary, uh, which you guys is coming out next week or in two weeks, which is just ridiculous. Um, it's actually in 13 days the documentary is co is coming out. I really do hope that you guys are going to watch the premiere. It's such a big night for us. And I, we would love to have you watching. Like for us, it's a dream. And we're just so thank you for, thank you for, I don't know, bringing us along your life. Um, okay. So when we were done filming this documentary, I was like a lost soul for two weeks. I could not stop eating. I didn't want to get dressed. I didn't want to put on makeup. It's like, it was so like I had worked, I had overworked for a whole month. I had just showed up in my life in such an exhausting way and so many exhausting ways, you know, eating on a menu, which is not my thing. And then just being on a camera all the time, like it's exhausting. And just like thinking, 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 make sure we don't miss anything, making sure, blah, 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 make sure we're funny. Make sure it was just a lot. It was, I, I was exhausted. It was extra. And so when that was done, I didn't want to do anything. And I could have like sat and I was just gaining back the weight, right. That I had lost because obviously that, that weight loss wasn't real. It was just, it had been fabricated without even wanting. It's so odd what happened. We can't wait to share it all with you. But anyways, um, I was there and I was eating all the things, gaining the weight back, not wanting to do anything, <laughs> kind of lost. And not once did I talk shit about myself. Not once did I ever, you know, be like, oh my God, you're failing. Oh, you're gaining all this weight. I knew it. You would gain the weight back. I was literally like, girl, every single day I would make choices. And every single day I'd be like, oh, okay, Josie, how can today be better? How can we be less of a disaster today, Josie? And then I would have a conversation with myself. I would also not just be like, it's okay, do whatever. I would just have conversations and I would go and really try hard to find progress every day. And I did find progress every day. And even if I gained weight on the scale, I could still see progress from the day before. Of like, okay, today you were more positive. Today you felt like putting on a sweater. <laughs> today you felt like doing your hair. Today, you talked to Alicia without losing patience because I could tell that I just like I had worked to my maximum all of February where I it's like I couldn't even like be in the presence of anyone. Like it was just like I needed to escape. The vacation was very much needed in my personal life. Um, anyways, so I want you to know that pro you have to go find progress every single day. So at the end of the day, your definition of progress should and will look different every day. And it will look different every different situation. Like today I had progress in this way. The next day I had progress in this way. Oh, this week I got progress on the scale. This week I got progress on my noise. This week I got progress on my positivity. This week I barely talked shit about myself and I was very nice to myself and it really helped my behavior. Like you need to recognize progress and success in different areas of your life. And it cannot just be the scale. Do you understand me? Because at one point you will no longer lose weight at one point, the number will not go down. And if you've only attributed, attributed, contributed, um, your success and your progress and your perfection to when the numbers go, when the number goes down, that's when I see progress, you will be disappointed. It's going to happen. And you deserve better. You deserve to see progress in all the things. Um, so I really hope that this just opens up conversation with yourself on what your current definition of progress and success is. And I hope that your current definition of progress and success includes you being happy, includes you loving your life, includes you being positive, Includes you seeing success on the scale. Absolutely. But also what is success on the scale? Is that, you know, sometimes you need to realize that success on the scale means the scale not going up. That's progress. So we all, you need to start where you are today and go from there. That's progress. Don't go back to when you were at your thinnest and nothing will be progress until you get that to that point. Progress starts today. Where you are today and what you do today, you can find progress in that.
Okay. So I really hope that you guys have a great Friday and um, I absolutely love showing up and talking to you. So please, like I said, either the Euro Weight Loss Instagram or my personal Instagram, come and see us always follow us everywhere. And we cannot wait to see you at the premiere in less than two weeks. Oh my God. Okay. Bye.